Alexei, hi, and greetings to Australia. And he said, could you please pronounce the most important cities to me to sound like a real local? Let's do this. Would you like to become a patron too? Then the link is in my description. Um, you will be able to download tons of additional learning materials to each of my videos. I will talk about the top 30 cities in Switzerland to visit as a tourist and um, the order is alphabetic. So let's start. First of all, this one. How would you pronounce this one? Okay, so we say Opital. Opital. Okay. So Apital is really, really popular with tourists and hikers and you know the scenery is just stunning and you will be able to have uh, the most traditional food there if you go there. So it's, I really recommend it. So number two is this one. Say it. Yeah, almost. We pronounce it Arosa. Arosa. When I was a kid, I remember we used to go skiing there. It's really, really nice for skiing. It's maybe not the cheapest place to go to, but I can recommend it. The scenery is beautiful. The mountains are just stunning. And there is always snow in the winter. Up to now, yeah. Okay, now, ready for the next one? Okay, the next one is this one. Okay, this one is one of my favorite ones. It's named Ascona. Ascona. It's really beautiful. It's located just at the Lago Maggiore and it's a beautiful place to enjoy the view of the lake. And you know, um, I really love, what's it called? Um, ah, Aperol Spritz. Have an Aperol Spritz at the lake. Hmm? How to order it? You could say, ich hätte gern ein Aperol Spritz. Ich hätte gern ein Aperol Spritz. Okay, actually they speak Italian over there. Anyway, Aperol Spritz. Okay, next one. This one, very important city. Oh, my finger. I heard it. Don't, don't pay too much attention to it. Okay, this one. Okay, so I pronounce it Basel, Basel, but people with the Basel dialect, they would pronounce it more likely like Basel, Basel. So if you want to sound really cool and really professional, you would say Basel. Okay, Basel has a really beautiful architecture and also, I mean, I was there like half a year ago and it's really nice, the nightlife is cool, they, ha they have a lot of great restaurants there and yeah, and I'm going to Fantasy Basel soon, I can recommend that too, okay, maybe see you there. Okay, next one, this one. Okay, I pronounce it Bellinzona. Bellinzona. It has really wonderful castles there, medieval castles. I remember when I was when I was there last, um, we had a drink up on a castle, and it's really beautiful. Okay, so next one, very important. It's even the main city in Switzerland. Main city, Hauptstadt. Hauptstadt for the Schweiz is called yes so I pronounce it Bern Bern but I have a Zurich dialect people from Bern would kill me if I wanted you to say Bern so real Bern people say Bern Bern okay try it Bern Gömmer auf Bern. So, this one is a beautiful one as well. How would you pronounce that one? Yeah, I would say Brienz. Brienz. 
And Brienz is really beautifully located at the lake. Brienz and Brienzersee and Thunersee, they are really beautiful lakes. You really have to go there once. And let's go to the next one. What about that one? Say it. Ooh. That was not so good. You didn't do that well. No, I'm sorry. I'm joking. You're doing a good job. Okay, I would say Khur, Khur, but be careful because people from Khur will tell me off for saying Khur, okay? Because you have to say Khur, Khur. They don't say Khur like I do from Zurich. They use a K instead. Khur, say it. Very good, you are allowed to go there now. Oh, actually, Kur is the oldest city in Switzerland. And it has really stunning um, scenery, you know, of the Alps as well. Okay, let's do the next one, this one. Say it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, I say Davos. Davos, it's really cool. I have been skiing there with my friends when I was really quite young still. And yeah, it's a good place. It's where the World Economic Forum takes place, for example, and the mountains and everything is just beautiful. Okay, next one, this one. Tricky, isn't it? So, I call it Fribourg. Fribourg. And in Fribourg, um, you speak French and Swiss German. So Swiss German people would say Fribourg and the German speaking people would say Fribourg, Fribourg. It's really beautiful. I was there uh, a few months ago and uh, you can just walk around for hours and discover this city. It's really beautiful. Then the next one. What about that one? So here as well, of course, in Geneva, which I call Gamf, and yes, I say Gamf with the M, and many Swiss people will laugh at me because it's very particular for my dialect, I say Gamf. A lot of people would say Ganf instead, Ganf. And if you speak French, of course, people who live there, they say Genève, but that's French, Genève. I say Ganf. I leave it up to you if you say Ganf or Ganf. Then one of my favorite ones. What about that one? Say it. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. You're getting better, really. Well done, well done. I'm so glad you take my lessons. I have seen you making a lot of progress, okay? So this one I would um, pronounce Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Okay, and it's a very popular ski resort and um, it's known for its stunning mountain views, world-class world uh, world skiing competitions. And yes, that's it. And now this one is for the Osher people. Well, I like it too, but yeah, you have to have a look at it. How would you pronounce that one? Yes, very good again. Okay, I would say Gstad. Gstad. It's a very luxurious skiing resort. As luxurious ski resort, yes. And high end shopping, stunning mountain scenery. Yeah, all that stuff. Wealthy travelers and sports enthusiasts like to go there. Oh my God, my hair looks so funny. It looks so funny. Not. So if you want to dig deeper into the topic of pronunciation, I wrote a whole chapter in my book about pronunciation, also compared to German, German and Swiss German, everything. You can listen to audio files, everything. In my book, I'm so proud I have written this. Check it out. The link is in my description. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, what about this one? Okay, this one is also located in the French speaking part, but if you are in the Swiss German speaking part talking about this uh, town, we would say 
Lausanne. Lausanne, like the French actually, Lausanne. They say Lausanne, we just say Lausanne, Lausanne, yeah. It's the fourth largest city in Switzerland and it has a really beautiful lakeside sit, um, setting, setting, yes. So, and this one, the next one, this one, how would you pronounce that one? Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Because I would say Lutherbrunnen, Lutherbrunnen, not Lauterbrunnen, Lutherbrunnen, okay, important. And this is one of the cities people mention to me the most because it's just stunning. You have to go there if you come to Switzerland, really. I don't want to say more, just go there. Okay, oh my God, this one. This is actually my personal favorite city in Switzerland because I used to live there for seven years and I just love it. You have the lake, you have the mountains, you have cultural events and everything you need to have to have a beautiful place. Okay, so I pronounce it, I pronounce it Luzern because I'm from Zurich, but people from Luzern would pronounce it Luzern. Don't forget that if you are there, say Luzern and they will just love you, I tell you. Luzern or Luzern. Next one is this one. Okay, say it. Yeah, Lugano, Lugano. It's also placed in the Italian speaking part of Switzerland. The Italian speaking people would also say Lugano, Lugano. I say Lugano from Swiss, from the Swiss, you know what I mean. Okay, it's really beautiful as well. And it's a little bit bigger than Locarno. I love Locarno as well. Anyway, okay, next one. What about that one? Yeah, it's located in the French speaking part. I would say Montreux, like the French speaking people. I say Montreux. Montreux, say it. Very, very good. It's also located at the lake. It has a vibrant music scene. There is this really great music festival there. You uh, jazz festival is really awesome. Okay, now this one is might be a bit tricky to pronounce for you. Say it. Yeah, not bad. I would say Mure. Mure. It's a very popular ski resort town in the Swiss Alps and it has also world-class skiing competition and everything you need to have as a tourist. Okay, then what about this one? Yeah, it sounds funny, doesn't it? Murta, Murta, Murta. It is located on the shores of Lake Murta. I have never been there. It has, it is known for its well-preserved medieval architecture. If you love architecture, then just go there. It has a beautiful waterfront promenade and it's very scenic location. The okay, next one is also located in the French speaking part. How would you pronounce that one? Neuchâtel, Neuchâtel. I also say Neuchâtel, even though I'm, I come from the German speaking part, I say Neuchâtel. It's very picturesque as well and located at the lake. This one is closer to where I live. How would you pronounce that one? It's, yeah. What? Say that again. <laughs> no, you're really, you're doing a good job. I would pronounce it Sankt Galle. Sankt Galle. Other people would maybe say Sankt Galle. I say Sankt Galle. Okay. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, actually. Go there, have a look, and yeah. Okay, actually, the people who live in St. Gale, they wouldn't say St. Gale, they say St. Gale, St. Gale. That's their dialect, you know, the Eastern dialect. My hair is just funny, isn't it? Okay, St. Gale, say St. Gale, okay. Then, oh my god, this one is for the rich people and, you know, everybody else who loves going to these kind of places. What do you... How, do, how would you pronounce it? 
Da, like St. Gallen, you say St. Moritz. St. Moritz. And it's very popular for sports enthusiasts, especially for horse riding, horse um, like polo, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm sure you know uh, St. Moritz. Okay, this one, I love it, it's beautiful. Say it. Yeah, very good. It's pronounced Thun. Thun, it's located at the shores of Lake Thun and it has a really charming town and medieval architecture. Yeah, I really love it. I really recommend going there if you have time to visit Switzerland. Okay, this one. It is placed in the French-speaking part, so how would you pronounce that? Okay, so it's interesting that the Swiss-German-speaking people, we pronounce the, the cities from the French-speaking part just like the French-speaking people. So I would say Vevey, Vevey. Okay, very, very. Yeah, it also has a charming old town and it's located at the lake. And yeah, it's worth a visit. Then, the next one a very popular skiing resort, and it also has world class skiing competitions there. How would you pronounce that one? Yep, Zange. Zange. Not bad. Okay, now we already arrived at the letter number Z. What do we have there? We have three more cities. First of all, this one. Not bad. But don't say Zug, say Zug. 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 It's a beautiful city uh, located at the Lake Zug. And yeah, it's known also to, to attract rather rich people because the, the rent... Yeah, it's also known to attract richer people because the taxes are very low, but the rents are quite high. But it's really beautiful just to go for a visit there. And now one of the most popular ones, I'm sure you know about that one. How would you pronounce that one? Yeah, very good. Zermatt. Zermatt. Yeah, it's located in the valleys and right next to um, Matterhorn, you know, where you have all the most uh, well-known places from Switzerland combined in one place, Zermatt. Really, really worth going there. Then, ah, the last one, last but not least. It's interesting, it's actually the city where well, I don't live in the city, but I live in the, this canton. What canton is it? Or what's the name of the city? Tell me. Guess. Whoa, you know me so well. Oh my God. Congrats. Okay, so it is, say it. Yes. Turi, 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 turi. My dialect is Turi dialect, well mixed with uh, so Turi is the largest city in Switzerland and many, many, many people who come to live here in Switzerland, they go to live in Zurich because it's just a place where you find them also a lot of jobs, you know. So for my patrons, I will make a list available for you with all the cities and I will also create an audio file so you can just use this list, listen to my audio and be the, a proper Swiss german speaking person when it comes to pronouncing swiss cities okay don't forget if you want to dig deeper into learning swiss german my book is a good place to start okay link in my description bye i love you tschüss zusammen